doing today working on the Evo so what are we working on some stuff so this is what we got have found an oil leak and you know I'm at a point where I should fix it because if I end up putting the whole car together the time is now to do this so check this out so yesterday um, I end up uh, brake cleaning everything and then uh, so it was clean all right so it was clean like this and then it gets to that all right, right there so what are we doing Carlos, I was dragging him into all my bullshit. So, here we go. So, to do this, I wish it would have been easy just to pull out the pan, but it's an Evo and nothing's easy. So, what we gotta do, take out the AC compressor brackets, AC compressor, pull out the belt, and then that would allow us to take out the pan, but that's not easy, because I heard this silicone is not easy to separate from the pan. The challenge accepted. We got a uh, we got a bunch of scrapers. We got a bunch of razor blades, and we're gonna try to cut it out. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna just put brand new oil in it. So I'm gonna try to save it. So I got a, a clean container. I'm about to drain this bad boy, and then start taking it apart. All right. So oil pan's not that hard. So got it out. I got. This is the hardest part right here. The bolt's so long, it's hitting the oil, what is this? The oil cooler. Victory. It wasn't that hard. Not that bad. I think the hardest part was getting this bolt because I didn't want to take out the oil cooler. But yeah, here she is. I'm gonna clean up, clean up the bottom real nice. Clean up the pan and then it's time to uh, ultra gray that bad boy or RTV it and put it back. We'll see. Wait, let's let's uh let's see. So this was the problematic spot that was leaking. So like these are this is what looks like a clean, nice and clean, and then something happened. All right, it's all good. My theory was right. I'd rather do this now than later. All right, progress. Looking good. So, uh, yeah. I razor bladed it straight, and then I wired brushed all the, the residue, and then brake cleaned it, and that uh, looks good. So next is, so this is the before. Yeah, next is actual oil pan. I'm gonna take it apart, because I wanna see the, the plug if something's bent. I wanna see why it's leaking from over there. Very weird that it needs a washer. All right, this is where we are at. All clean on the bottom. Got the oil pan all done. Our TV on it. Just letting it dry. The one I bought takes an hour to dry. So we got an hour to kill. All right, update. Oil pan is in. Everything looks good. Torqued it down. The only sucky thing, and I followed torque specs. I end up snapping a bolt. So I don't know how that's gonna go tomorrow. It's not an open end. If it was like one of these open end ones, it'd be nice. It's like in there, but ah, I'm a master. So, uh, master at drilling out shit. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I'm gonna let the RTV dry, get nice and hard. And um, yeah, see if I could drill it out slowly tomorrow and put another bolt. I don't even think I have to drill it. You know, I think it's, it's good, but just for a peace of mind. This is bullshit when shit like this happens, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, what is up, world? I messed up. And I tried to play it off a little bit, but I broke a, I broke the bolt in the 
in the oil pan and it seems like it's not that easy of a fix but let's check it out that sucks Carlos you know what that is that's a victory man this thing uh it was way easier than I thought. It drilled out really good, the bolt fell apart, and I put a new bolt. All right. So this is the mock-up right here. Got the test pipe and the full cap bag right there, all in plastic. So let's open it and, oops. Let's open it, check for damage. Although I, I received this like a month ago. Hopefully they believe me if anything happens. But, yeah, here we go. Check those tips out. Bunch of lights, looking good. Oh shoot, the radio works. Nice, looking good, got it started, everything's on. Like I said, still gotta do all the clamps. Just wanna get her running. Uh, might have to put some, uh, do a little tune up. But right now it's just getting all the, the fluids back to normal. So I'm gonna keep running it until she gets an even idle. Maybe need some gas, good gas. Who knows, but she is not shutting off, not smoking. That is a plus. Let's check out the back. Sounds good, sounds good. Don't shut up. What is up, world? All right, I wasn't going to vlog this. Hold on, let me get a better lighting. All right, perfect. I wasn't going to vlog this, but I will. Doing some calipers. You know why? Because when I vlog stuff, it comes out all right. And when I don't vlog it, it comes out almost perfect, so. This is just something fast. Uh, I am doing a set of uh, calibers for the Evo 10 for the purple ultraviolet. And let me explain. And here they are. All right, so I kind of skipped uh, the prep process because first of all, this vehicle is very low mileage. It only has 30,000 miles. So the calipers were in really good condition. Not even the clear coat was peeling. So uh, all I did was I uh, hit the, the face with like an 80 grit, I mean a 180 grit DA took off the Brembo sticker, and then lightly sanded the rest with 80 grit. Then uh, I primed it with a 2K primer. Here we are. So, I already did one, with, and I dry sanded it, because we, we're trying to paint today. If I wet sand it, water goes all in the crevices, and sometimes it looks drier than it is, but so we're doing a dry. This is a fast method. The last method took me over three weeks to do. I'm on my second day and I'm almost ready to paint. So I just put on a 2K primer. I'm gonna hit it with a 320 dry sandpaper, 3M. That's all we use over here. And uh, get in the booth. I'm gonna start basing it white. This is gonna go uh, white with uh, black Brembo lettering. So I'm gonna base it white, bring it back inside the office and the nice AC, cause it's 100 degrees today. And uh, put the lettering on for you guys. And then we're gonna clear coat and see how it comes out. All right, I'll sand it down. Now to tape up the pistons, here we go. All right, all done. So this one, I went right to the, to the, what do they call it? The, the seal, the, no, the piston seal. What the hell it's called? Anyway, the seal. This one, I went to the rim. I think it's easier on the rim, because if you slip, you could pierce the, the seal. So here it is, here's one, three more to go. All righty. 
everything is all taped up so next step base some white and put on the stickers all right all right in the booth all set up I'm gonna start doing the bottoms first and the color of choice is a regular QM1 uh, Nissan color it's a nice bright white that's what we're gonna do there we go all right first coat is done so um, what I'm doing is doing the bottom first before I flip it over you know and then I'm gonna uh, do a good coat on the top but let's let it dry put a thick coat so I flipped it over first coat on the top I put it on oh, it's like two coats really but yeah we're gonna let it dry and then uh, hit it one more good coat but I put it on thick I hope this thing don't run it ain't gonna run, it's too fucking hot in here. Let me show you how hot is in it. You don't even need to put right there. Hot! 96 degrees. Alright, last coat. I put that thing on wet. When you put it on wet, it almost looks like clear coat. Let's see. Put it on wet. Let that thing dry. Nice, because we're about to put some vinyl. All right, here we are, Brembo sticker time. So, I tried to get them online, but they were the wrong size. So, I had to hit up a local vinyl shop. If you guys are ever interested, uh, hit up the homies, the, the graphic guys in Kissimmee. Uh, I'll let the, the homie Eli, he'll take care of you. But he does all my stickers, wraps, everything, so. I got some Brembo's made in black. Got my little work area. It's not the cleanest, but it'll do. Hope I just... So yeah, here we go. Ah, so let me tell you what happened. So, when I ordered them, because I did order them on Amazon, this came. Too big. Too big. But arrow sticking out. So then I had to bring it to the homie, and he made me Good ones. So I just gotta cut this out and get it on there. Scare me for a second. All right, so I trimmed it out. Got gloves on, so that's how it's supposed to to look. Let's see if I get it on without messing it up. There we go. All right, one's done. This one looks pretty good. All good. Next up, number two, all done. Not too bad. I apologize, I had my microphone backwards. So this is the harder one here. I gotta try to keep it straight. So, that's how it's gonna look. All right, so let me show you a little trick. Just line it up, use some of the, the transfer tape because it's super soft. And we're gonna roll this back, cut out the back through this side. So this side's gonna anchor down and we're gonna roll the other side, pull it out, boop. Got a perfect Brembo sticker. All right, let's see if I can capture it. So everything is lined up. We're just gonna anchor this down. The stupid transfer tape went under the, the circle, but I'm pretty sure when I peel it that way, it'll pull it out. So, and, okay, I don't know if I should be doing this with one hand. Let's pull this off, I'll pull the paint. Let's see. Oh. Easy. I should not be doing this. Nope, hold on. Let me, I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. <laughs> now I don't want to mess it up. This, is, this one came out pretty perfect. Oh, well, there's a, a nerve right there, but alright, we're gonna. Oh, a little trick on how to peel it. You just use the transfer paper. You don't want to use your nail. You just get yourself a little spot and use your finger. Then we're gonna pull. So there you go. All right. Hopefully the O doesn't pull. Nice. Yeah, nice. Looking good.
All right, all set up in the booth. Time to clear. Bam. Bam. I never talk about it, but clear of my choice and my favorite clear coat, HB. This is discontinued. This is probably the last kit we have, and we move to the Prisma, but this is the best right there. Albert Kempley, you messed up. All right, you are live and in the booth. First coat of clear. Looking wet. Looking good. All right, last coat. Let's see how it came out. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Perfect. No runs. Look at that. Cool. All good. Let them dry, pack up, go home. All right. So, that's all I got for you guys today. It is 96 degrees in here, so I don't like to, I don't like to go out all sweaty and stuff, but I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me on this caliper uh, adventure. Um, so, on this, on this caliper refinish, so. Uh, I did I did one a long time ago a vlog, but uh, I always wanted to do them white and um, Had the opportunity and decided to do it. So uh, thank you all for watching till next time We're gonna put these bad boys on on the ultraviolet Evo and uh, bleed them out get the have my uh, Drilled and slotted rotors are coming so get the suspension all tightened up put the wheels on put this bad boy on the floor and then uh, Time to get her uh, inspected because this one's a rebuild title. So it's gonna be a, another adventure. And once once it once it's done inspected, I'll probably end up uh, painting the wheels. So yeah, that's it. Till next time. Thank you guys for watching. Like the, like the saying goes, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care.